The radical left is trying to replace American democracy with woke tyranny. They want to do the same thing to America that Trudeau has been doing to Canada, and much, much worse. Justin Trudeau isn't a dictator. He's not a tyrant or a woke tyrant, whatever that was supposed to mean. But he sure as hell is not part of the left. This is Rebel HQ. I'm Sandy Lobez. Donald Trump has been intensely jealous of Justin Trudeau for years. Maybe it's because of the image Justin is able to project to the world of being a competent leader and likable. Or maybe it's because Justin can get elected. Or maybe it's because Justin's dad loved him. It doesn't matter. Our countries are so closely tied together through trade and economics. Most of us have friends and family on either side of the border. Trump's petty attitude and jealousy caused issues when he was in office, and it'll cause issues again if he gets back into office. And as for constantly referring to Justin Trudeau as some sort of radical leftist, trying to make it sound like it's some sort of insult, meanwhile, the people on the left are saying, if only we could be that lucky. Considering Trump wouldn't be able to find Canada on a map, I don't trust his assessment of how left-wing Justin Trudeau is. Why don't we go to Justin Trudeau himself and see what he has to say about the left? We're seeing a rise in intolerance. We see the organizations of uh, extremist groups on the far right and the far left that are pushing uh, white supremacy, intolerance, radicalization, promoting hatred, fear, and mistrust across borders, but within borders as well. The far right and the far left promoting intolerance and hate? With language like that, I'm surprised Trump doesn't like Trudeau more. But you know what, maybe that was just a slip of the tongue. Maybe Trudeau didn't mean to equate the far right and the far left as being the exact same thing. Except after that broadcast, he gave an interview to the Toronto Star where he claimed it was the casual cynicism of the left that bugged him the most. The far right has harassed Justin Trudeau. They've attacked him. There was an actual assassination attempt on Justin Trudeau from the far right. But it's the casual cynicism of the left that bugs him the most? Maybe it's because we actually hold him accountable to the promises he makes and breaks. Maybe it's because we're trying to push him in a direction that would benefit the people of the country instead of corporations and the wealthy few. But maybe all of this is just words. Maybe Donald Trump isn't upset about that. Maybe it's because of the policies Justin Trudeau has put through that is bugging Trump and making Trump think that he's part of the radical left. So why don't we go over some of Justin Trudeau's policies? It's true, Justin Trudeau runs on progressive promises all the time. Things like a disability benefit, affordable childcare, clean drinking water to all Indigenous communities, and one of the biggest ones in 2015 which helped him win the election was to get rid of first past the post and bring in proportional representation. Maybe those are the policies that Trump are talking about that makes Trudeau such a far leftist, except Trudeau broke all of those promises. Or maybe something a little bit more recent. Maybe how about during the pandemic when he voted against raising taxes on the ultra wealthy and those companies that had profited during the pandemic? Or how about when he voted against Pharmacare for All during the pandemic? How about when he spent $3.5 billion on an oil pipeline which might never get built? Or the $77 billion on 88 fighter jets? Or the $286 billion for 15 warships? Because any leftist with that type of money, that is definitely what they would be spending their money on. And then, he kneels at the unmarked grave of an indigenous child, places a teddy and sheds a tear for a photo op. He has spent over $100 million taking residential school survivors and Indigenous children to court. He couldn't even be bothered to show up on the vote on the motion calling on the government to stop doing that. Then, on the inaugural National Truth and Reconciliation Day, he went on vacay. And I would hazard to guess most Canadians watching this didn't even know half these things happened. That's because of our piss-poor media. 
They don't tell you the things you should know. They only report on the things they're okay with you knowing. You have to dig to find this information. You know, it would be a shame if more people found out about this and started putting pressure on the government to change their ways. If it wasn't for Trump's jealousy of Justin Trudeau, I'm sure they would have been buddy-buddy building pipelines and selling weapons to overseas conflicts. Oops, sorry, excuse me, my bad. Lethal aid. And after all of that, if there's any Americans or true honors out there still thinking Trudeau is some beacon of leftist ideals, then you're worse off than I thought. Unquestioning loyalty to any person or party is not a positive attribute. The proof is in the policy, and Justin's policies show he is no ally to the left. If you want to see more of my stuff, you can look for me on social media as Left of the Box. Don't forget to hit buttons and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, get informed, get involved.